in reality any good product you consider is based on hardware technology for example this speaker it is self stable at room temperature hardware used in this products are mild heat treatment low ph reduced water activity salt spices competent microflora and even packaging heat treatment is the processing hardware water activity is the physical hardware salt spices ph are the chemical hardware and packaging is the protective hardware to avoid recontamination in 1978 dr luther lisner a german food scientist significantly highlighted and promoted hardel technology and established its wide applications it was a pleasant experience for me to see him first time in the international congress on engineering and foods puebla mexico we need to have a basic understanding of hardel technology before its use the word hardel in food originates from the hardel jump in sports in 1995 Trends in food science and technology published the hurdles in relation to the microorganisms. Hurdles are placed, but microbes are not following the rules of hurdle jump. Microbes are behaving on their own way to bypass the hurdles. However, this metaphor could help us to visualize the hurdle technology of food preservation. Dr. Lisner first visualized hurdles as arranged one after another. In this diagram, heat treatment, chill storage, low moisture, acidity, redox potential, and preservatives are the hurdles. Microbes need to jump over the hurdles one after another to survive. They need to spend energy to jump over the hurdles. In this process, microbes will be exhausted and they would unable to grow or in the extreme case they will die recently professor plag has proposed stack wall metaphor based on the idea of dr troller in this case wall represents the hurdles and their height can represent a strength sequence of hurdles could be represented the order of the wall the delay of the applied hurdles could be the distance between the walls that is separated time in this diagram f value ph water activity are the hurdles combined two or three hurdles are shown in the vertical stack of walls on the right side microbe can jump over the hurdles when applied individually or over two hurdles but unable to jump uh, three hurdles in combinations practical examples can provide better understanding in general if we want to develop a safe canned food product by heat treatment we need to apply 12d commercial sterilization d value is the one log cycle change of microorganism Alternatively if we want to develop a dried food we need to dry until its water activity reaches to 0.6 Again if we want to develop a pickle then pH less than 4.5 need to be applied These are the general microbial safety guidelines and each method is mainly focused on one hurdle In these three cases the severity of processing is very high for example 12d process could damage the structure sensory and nutritional content significantly similarly process of lowering water activity below 0.6 could damage the structure significantly and lowering ph could turn into undesired acidic taste Now I want to develop a product with reduced processing severity as well as microbial safety with retained nutrition and sensory characteristics. What I could do? I could apply these three hurdles in combination at lower levels of intensity. For example, 
we have achieved safety of a can food with 12D at PA 6.5. I could apply PA 5.5 with 8D heating process having similar safety. This is called hardened technology or combined method of food preservation. Each preservation method is a hard L. In this case, we have played with two hard L's, pH and heating intensity. At present, around 60 hard L's are being used in the food preservation. The application I have provided earlier just to understand the hard L concept. In reality, hard L concept has evolved due to the progress of fresh like minimally processed foods, low severity of hard ales for sensory and nutritional quality, long shelf life at room temperature or with mild chill condition. For example, fresh cut fruits, ready to bake pizza, ready to eat meals, part baked bread, cheese and dried meat and sauces. Now let's discuss why we need to have a hurdle technology. Only one hurdle provides extreme severity. All food products are not at its bed monolayer or glassy state. Reactions are lowest at or below bed monolayer or glassy state but not zero. That is stability is valid within a time frame. Even multi hurdles need to be used below bed monolayer and glassy state when very long shelf life is required. Not all foods are below pH 4.5 and water activity less than 0.6 and having 12D. We have diversified food products with varied moisture, structure, taste and flavor. Therefore, we cannot apply same hurdles for all products. We need to apply hurdles based on the product. Thus, clear understanding is necessary to select the hurdles in an intelligent way. What are the advantages of hurdle technology? There are three main advantages of hurdle technology in food preservations. It reduces severity of one hurdles. It provides synergy if hurdles are used in a smart way and intelligent way to achieve desired food products. Many of the hurdles are advanced from the past experience or from traditional and culture. In this case, generally products are passed through long safety of evidence. In general, traditional means it has good evidence and record of safety. In the following slides, I am going to explain this concept. I have already discussed the example of heat severity. Here, I would like to explain the moisture severity in the case of fruit leather. We could have a fruit leather with water activity of 0.6 for microbial safety but leather could be very hard and not chewy with significant loss of volatiles and nutrients. However, we could achieve same safety and water activity 0.91. In this case, leather would be chewy texture with desired volatiles and nutrients. Different mild hurdles could be used, for example, mild heat treatment, salt, spice, and sorbet. We need to understand synergy and antagonistic scenarios. For example, we have two components x1 and x2. If we add the x1 plus x2, then another additional term y could appear. If y is positive, then addition is synergistic, and if y is negative, then addition would be antagonistic. In Hardell technology, we need to achieve Y as positive. I will explain it in plague metaphor followed by few practical examples.
we could visualize synergistic and antagonistic conditions in plague metaphor. First diagram shows the addition of water activity, pH, and a value hurdles in combination resulted no effect, that is no benefit or loss. The second diagram shows addition of these three hurdles resulted loss that is antagonistic. Finally, third diagram shows that combination resulted benefit that is synergistic. In this slide, I would like to provide one example of synergistic and antagonistic results when heat treatment is used at different water activity. We could have synergistic result of heat treatment if we increase water activity from 0.89 to 0.95 since more heat is required to kill bacteria at lower water activity. Therefore, we could achieve same safety with a value of 4D instead of 6D. However, heat treatment process could be antagonistic if we reduce water activity from 0.89 to 0.80. You can find further explanations of hardened technology in these two books. In forthcoming videos, I will present few applications of hardened technology and explore how intelligently it can be used to achieve the food safety by retaining nutrition and safe sensory. Thank you.